chưa gặp em tôi đã nghĩ rằng có nàng thiếu nữ đẹp như trăng so the couple use the stick that the master gave them and then put the hat on it so that they can uh, stay together you know to try to avoid the dew mm? mm-hmm. the wet dew and then they lean on each other and slept under the hat mm-hmm. and the stick that's buried in the earth so they slept like that in the middle of the night they woke up and saw that they themselves were inside a beautiful glorious palace wow. Wow. Mm. with all kinds of uh, commodities that they needed mm. beautiful beds and shining furniture with all kinds of facilities mm. yes. like a palace and even had servants oh, wow. <laughs> servants you know a young teenage and royal servants a uh, woman royal servants mm. and men and also a lot a lot of soldiers and guards <laughs> bodyguards <laughs> all over it was very lively <laughs> around their palace yeah the next morning They woke up and uh, went out of the palace and looked around and saw big royal walls already all over for protection. And then have guards everywhere, a lot, a lot of them. It's like a king's palace and uh, scenery. So they settled there. This strange (laughs) phenomena, news, flew all over like uh, flying news too. (laughs) (laughs) The king. <laughs> <laughs> and the king was feeling very perplexed. And then many of the, you know, kings, right? They have good officials and bad officials. Those mm-hmm. that are telling him, oh, they must be planning to make a revolution mm-hmm. go against you, your majesty. Uh, so um, he dispatched a big group, a big army to go to the place where they are living, where the princess and daughter were living. When they arrived there, the uh, evening had just come. They could not pass. They could not cross the river. And at midnight, suddenly there were storms. Many trees are broken, and then uh, a lot of uh, dust and a lot of uh, everything was flying all over in the storm. Yes. And then suddenly, the area where Princess Ding Yong and Dong Tu were all flew up into the sky. Oh, wow. Hmm. wow. The whole thing, the whole palace and oh, everybody. Wow. And then only an empty uh, sandy beach was left over in the middle of the river. So after that, people call that uh, sandy beach mm-hmm. in the middle of the river. They call it a natural beach <laughs> and that uh, area actually is the lake maybe the river and the lake are unconnected eh? mm. and the lake they call it one night lake meaning uh, <laughs> 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 overnight <laughs> everything changed <laughs> and because the people saw such a phenomena they built a little monument mm. to uh, worship the husband and wife on top of that sandy beach, uh, the natural beach, because he suddenly, it just naturally came out <laughs> because he wasn't there before. And then just one night, one night lake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, generation after, meaning the next generation, there's a king who passed by that area and uh, stopped there uh, and camped there with his soldiers in order to fight against the Liang Dynasty's government. They probably dispatched their soldiers to invade Vietnam at that time. The king's name was Triu Viet Vương, and he was probably pushed by the Chinese Liang Dynasty soldiers, fighters at that time. So he has to go over there and camp over there. And when he was all surrounded by the enemies, 
the situation was really urgent, urgent. Tiêu Việt Vương, the king, Tiêu Việt at that time, he uh, built a high tower, yeah? Mm-hmm. Small high tower. And he went up there to pray, to pray to all the deities and God to help him in order to escape this situation, also to win over the enemy, to win the war. Because the Chinese came to Vietnam at that time and wanted to invade the country. Mm. And he was already cornered here. Yes. Mm. And of course, they are outnumbered. The Vietnamese were outnumbered because the Chinese were a lot of people. They always have a lot of people. Anyway, it looked like they were dying already. But then suddenly, because he was so sincere, and he was innocent, you know, the Vietnamese, they didn't go and do anything to China. Mm. China at that time just went there and wanted to invade their country. So he was very, very sincere, of course, yeah, and prayed. And then suddenly he saw, he said he wanted to escape this and win the war and protect his country. So please mm. help them. And then he suddenly saw a deity, very dignified, fly down from heaven with a dragon. Mm -hmm. He drove on top of a dragon and flew down from heaven. And then he gave King Tilvik a nail from the dragon and said to the king, You put this nail of the dragon, attach it to your spear, and then wherever you go, the enemies will be destroyed, mm. will be uh, dispersed and destroyed. Then the deity flew back to heaven with the dragon. The king, Jehovah, at that time, obeyed the deity and did exactly that. Huh? Oh, actually, it is not the spear. He should put it on top of his head. The hat that he wore. Mm. Uh, yes. mm. And then on top of his head, he attached this dragon's nail. And then he felt that his health, his spirit, everything multiplied. Mm. Yes. And he felt very strong, very confident, and very, very mighty. His uh, spirit, his mind also became so clear. Mm. And with each day, his practice, his strength grow more and more. Mm. And then he took all his leftover soldiers, not a lot, but then they all went out and uh, broke the surrounding enemy lines and then killed the leader, the general. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm? The general, the leader of the group of the Chinese army. And then, of course, without a uh, leader, all the soldiers didn't know what else to do. They ran. They were scared also because how can the king who was already surrounded by enemies like that without anything inside, mm. just on the sandy beach, suddenly become victorious mm. yes. as if he is like a general from heaven. <laughs> so they all run away and escaped and some died, some ran. They all became broken down mm-hmm. and run away. And whatever was left over from that army, they left Vietnam. They left, they ran away. They didn't stay in Vietnam anymore after that. They didn't want to. They could not invade Vietnam or possess control Vietnam. They could not colonize Vietnam. They ran away. They went home. End the story. The person who told this story is named... Vũ Ngọc Phan. We thank him also. We thank him here. Post humans, I guess. We thank all the authors and all the persons who told all these stories. It's uh, from a real story. Yeah. Wow. These uh, personages existed and the location still exists. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. Very good. Thank you all and uh, thank you the princess and the prince. Yeah. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master, for sharing the story. Sánh vai một mái lầu phong nguyệt.